All right, guys, you're gonna love this 40 minute abs and cardio workout. No equipment needed today. And as you can see, a good sweat. We work for three minutes today and a one minute rest in between. We're gonna group two exercises together at a time all the way down. Like I said, three minutes of work and you have eight reps of everything today. So if we have something like high knees, it'll be eight each leg. If you have something like a sit up, it will be eight total. So eight of each back to back as many rounds as you can in that three minute work period. We have nine big circuits like that. So make sure you work hard, push hard, Grab a BOSU ball if you have it. If not, everything is on the floor and you just need your water and your sweat towel. All right, let's crush it together. All right, let's step it out side to side, tap and pull. Welcome to your workout. I'm so excited that you're here and I'm pumped about this workout format. I think you're gonna love it. Good job. Let's twist over, over. Three minute work periods today, meaning Get into your zone. We've got some cardio together, some core together, and then some combos. Okay, reach over, over. Our number today is gonna be eight. Eight reps of everything. Also, if you would like to just watch the clock, feel free to just do 30 seconds per exercise instead of counting. I know everyone has their preference, so make this work out your own. Eight reps for 30 seconds per exercise. Good, hands on your hips, back and forward. Because our rep count is sort of low, make sure the reps are great. Okay, not all about just speed. It's about good quality reps, staying moving. Then when you feel good about those quality reps, then you can intensify a little bit. All right, walk it out into a plank. Come on down to the mat. Great job, lift your hips up, heels down. Great work, back into your plank. And let's drop it down to your knees, stack them up over on the side, open. And other side, open it up. Just driving your hip up to the sky. Connecting with your core. Good, back into the middle. Pop it out nice and wide and let's squat. There we go, getting the body temperature up a little bit. I've got my BOSU out here for options. Okay, sit-ups and crunches. If you kind of arch your back over a BOSU, this gives you a little bit more stretch, a little bit tougher for the contraction. All right, so jogging in place. Your challenge today, stay moving for the three in your one minute rest. Watch what I'm gonna show you that we'll do up next. Also, you can come right back to this, okay? You can also, of course, hold a plank, tap into some abs, but I do need you to be all out in your three minutes. So try not to make this low intensity the whole time. Work hard, rest. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna go mountain climbers and then side plank, cross downs. Eight each leg, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six. Then you go open for four each. Let's go. Good job.
Good, stay focused here. Core is in control. Amazing job. You got just about 90 seconds left here, second half of this one. Keep it up, keep it up, come on. Good work, come on, you got 42 seconds to go. Fight for your balance. As you open up, open hips and ribs. Good job. Focus, focus, focus. Almost there, seven. Come on, sprint. Go, go, go. Four. And rest. <sighs> One minute. Breathe. We're gonna go into a combo up next again. We've got curtsy lunge hops and jackknives. Okay, curtsy lunge hops can also be just regular curtsy lunges or side steps. Okay, I do want you to touch down here for eight, seven, six. Okay, so four each side. Then your jackknives can either be two legs together more challenging option. Meet up in the middle, release together, or eight, seven, six, four each leg there as well, okay? So let's start with those curtsy lunges. Grab your last sip of water, we go in 10. Ready? Two, one, come on. Little transition time with up and down. That's okay, just move right into it. Good job. First minute done, you're into minute two now. Breathe and stay breathing. Good job. Good, you just got over one minute left here. Let's go.
All right, last 35. You doing okay? Yes, you are. Good job. Remember the option, jog, plank, continue to work on things, or remember I need you really solid in these three minute work periods, so catching your breath is vital, okay? All right, we're moving on to the mat completely for this next one. Last one we were up and then we were down. We're gonna go plank jacks with the shoulder tap, if you can, and then bicycles. Okay, so plank jacks with the shoulder tap. When your feet are wide in the plank jack, that's when you're on one hand, okay? So you're here, together down. Here, together down, okay? Then after that, bicycles. You're gonna go one, one, two, two, so 16 total if you wanna count that way. Additionally, a little bonus challenge would be to throw your BOSU under your back. Ready? Let's get it. Eight, seven, Great work. Keep moving. You're doing amazing. Keep breathing here. Just over a minute to go. Forty seconds. Thirteen, twelve. Good job. Grab water. You can move your BOSU out of the way if you pulled it out. Grab water. Next up, we go squat taps. And then plank, knee crunch pikes, okay? 
Squat taps, just like it sounds. Squat, tap down, okay? Come up here, here, eight of those guys. Then we go into a plank crunch pike. Okay, so you're here, crunch, crunch, lift your hips, crunch under. What I don't wanna see is a back arch with your leg here. I want your back to be rounded, crunching. Okay, so you're looking back at your knee. If you have trouble connecting with that one, just take it low, crunch. Okay, eight each leg, so 16 total there. Let's start with our squats. Here we go. Good job. You're breathing deep, I know you are. Great work. Second half here. 90 seconds. It's a tough one. Come on, stay with me. Come on, 30. After this, we go into some double cardio. So connect with the core here. Fifteen. Amazing job. Circuit number four is finished. We go into circuit five. Which by the way means crossing into the second half of the workout. Great work. All right, this one, you're just gonna stay moving. All right, high knees, 16 total, eight each leg, and then X jacks. Okay, so we have high knees, one, one, two, two, all the way up to 16, eight each leg. Then we go X, so we go one, two, three, okay, eight on that side, cross it over. You can keep this low impact just like this, or take it here for a high impact. Stay moving, stay breathing, three minutes, eight each leg for both of them, ready? Yes, you are, three, two, one, come on. Good job, quick breather in between 
Round. Good. Woo. I told you this one, just move, okay? You're gonna impress yourself with three minutes. You stayed moving the whole time, okay? If you need in between exercises to, that's fine, just keep going. Good work. Big exhales, a minute and 20 seconds down. All right, ready? Big inhale, big exhale. There you go. 60 seconds as of right now. Here we go. Forty-five. Come on. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's go. Cardio, way to go. We're gonna go down on the floor for double core now. <sighs> Sit-ups and leg raises are two big basic movement patterns when it comes to building core muscle. Sit-ups, if you wanna throw your back on the BOSU, you're gonna have a bit more of a stretch, okay? So that's up to you. If you don't have a BOSU, you can add a dumbbell. I know this is a body weight workout, but to get that challenge, that's an option. You can also throw it into a frog position or heels together and just tap low back. Keep your hands here and up. Okay, so without using a big arm swing. Leg raises, one leg at a time, it's the approachable option. Do not be ashamed if you do that. Go there so you can get stronger right now. Ready, eight each, let's get it. One minute down, good job.
All right, let's go. 60 seconds, come on. Force your low back into the floor, whether you're doing sit-ups or leg raises. Thirty seconds. <sighs> Focus, come on, keep that drive. Four. And breathe. Beautiful job. Grab water. All right. Back into a double cardio. Good job focusing on your core there. I need you to focus on your breathing now and our rest so that when we jump into this double cardio, your breathing's already good. Okay, breathe deep. There we go. We've got a quick disco tap down and then butt kicks. Eight each leg or each side for both. 16 total if you wanna count that way. Think of disco, you kinda of think of something like this. We're gonna take it down, down, okay? So just right here, eight each side, butt kicks. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, pulling, heel to glute. So you're using your hamstring, don't get here. Stay upright, pull here. Let's go. One minute down. Great work. You're breathing deep. I'm doing the same thing. All right, 60 seconds in three, two, good solid minute, let's go. Come on, non-stop for your last 35 seconds.
go two, one, breathe. Great job. Sweat towel and water. And we're going down to the ground, double core. We have two circuits left, okay? Two little three minute periods of work. Whew. All right, straight leg, seated, scissors, okay? So you're chopping one, one, two, two. Hands are gonna be under your tailbone. After that, take your hands over your head, crunch up, reverse crunches. Eight, seven, if you're not ready for lifting both heels, just one. Stay crunched, one, two, three, okay? Straight legs, let's go. Eight each, and we're off. And if you're doing the single leg option, other foot's gonna give you a little bit of push off the ground so that you do get that lower pelvic hip complex working and then unrolling, okay? If you need an advancement from this, you go reverse crunch, straight legs. it up you're doing great got just over 90 seconds left I'm gonna pull my Bosu into the mix Just under one minute to go. Thirty five, thirty seconds, come on. Thirteen, twelve. Breathe. Last sixty second breather right here. And we've got one circuit left. It is a combo of cardio and core. So grab water. Couple really good burners today. Whew. All right, we close it out with plank tuck jumps, okay? Two options here. You're either gonna pop up, tuck it in and out, in and out. Nobody is coming up into a squat here. Okay, your options are here and out, or here and down. Okay, more advanced option is butt in the air. Then we'll go cross crunches, 
laying it down on the ground, crunching up. Ready? Let's go. Plank, tuck. For your cross crunches, staying on the floor, cross eight, seven, Come on, come on. Just over a minute 30 to go. Come on, this is your whole workout right here. Finishing on a high note, you go hard, hard, hard. Let's go, let's go. One minute. 60 seconds between you and I and the end of our workout. Come on. Come on, last 15. Are you ready? Let's go. Five seconds. Keep doing whatever you're doing for three. And breathe. <sighs> Hands and knees. You have made it to your cool down. Shift your hips back, back, back. Come onto your elbows. Big deep breath in and out. Amazing, amazing work. Lift your hips up. Drop them down. <sighs> Beautiful. What we just did today was Keep our heart rates up, work hard, short reps, high intensity, back to back in superset style. So we worked our core really well, rotationally, working on the lumbo-pelvic hip complex and your rectus abdominis in general with the upper torso crunching down towards the lower, what people deem as upper abs and lower abs. They're all connected, they can't work individually, but the focus of the movement patterns today, targeted here and here, okay? Come on up to standing. Got our heart rates up with cardio and my hope was that you stayed moving this workout, okay? In these three minute work periods, going hard, but in the one minute work period, recovering well enough for your three minutes to be impactful. Great job. Make sure you check out everything in the description that's coming up next. I am so excited for what's coming next for you. I'm always thinking of how can I make you a better version of yourself? How can I get you closer to your goals? I'm working for my goals as well, so I take that into account. What's working for me? What do I need more of? Okay, I do every single workout right along with you, five times a week, trying to walk, trying to be a little bit more active outside of my workouts, just to have a little bit of break up in my day for not sitting so long. That could benefit your mental health as well, okay? Hands on your tailbone, but as we leave today, 
Just know what's coming next for you is gonna be a true flex for you. And breathe. You've made it to the end of your workout today and I want you to be proud of yourself. I want you to take a look at how you work today and then work in that way outside of here in some way that you need. And I don't know what that is. Maybe it's your mental health, which is really important. It is the guiding roadmap of everything that you do. Maybe it's hydration, maybe it's sleep. Maybe it's just the way that you're approaching life. And the mindset that you have, is it, I hope nothing bad comes at me, or is it more so I'm going to go at everything I want. I'm gonna tackle it, I'm gonna be proactive. Whatever comes my way, I can deal with it. But I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna keep driving forward. That's resilience, that's strength. And that's why we strength train here, to get that into your mind so that you move outside of here and say, I'm stronger than this. Believe that, okay? Whatever you're going through, People are going through things right along with you. You're not the only one, although sometimes it feels like it. Life can get heavy, but you are not the only one. So in that camaraderie, make sure you think of yourself as a part of this team. You remember that what you're going through is not bigger than you. It's not too much for you. Right here, right now, this version of you today is incredibly strong. It's getting stronger because of what you're going through and because of what you're gaining as you push through that. So I will see you back here for our next workout. Make sure outside of this, you tackle something in a strong way. Believe that, believe in yourself, and I'm really proud of you. I'll see you back here for the next one.